Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. The famous Konami code. I'm sad to report today that Kazuhisa Hashimoto, creator of the famous Konami code, died this week. He was 61, which sounds younger and younger the older I get. I'm 52 now. 61 sounds really young, too young to die. But he did leave behind a very iconic thing for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Konami Code. Now, before I get to that, let me tell you real quick what Konami said in a statement, the company. They said, we're saddened to hear about the passing of Kazuhisa Hashimoto. I hope I'm saying that name right. Um, sad to hear about his passing. He's a deeply talented producer who first introduced the world to the Konami Code. Our thoughts are with Hashimoto, Sans, family, and friends. At this time. Now, the Konami Code. I'll have to admit, when the Konami Code was introduced uh, in 1986 with Gradius for the NES, I had no idea what it was. I didn't even know what it was when it was popularized in 1988 for Contra. Now, Hashimoto included the Konami Code, that code you could input with the, uh, you know, the NES D-pad uh, when you're booting up uh, Gradius for the NES. He created that code because when he was working on the game, he found it very difficult himself. You know, he was, he was porting this really great side-scrolling shooter, excellent game, and it's a difficult game. It's a hardcore side-scrolling shooter, and when he was working on the game, it was difficult for himself to get through, so he created this code that would give you, you know, all your, you know, power-ups from the beginning of the game. And um, after that, Konami started using the code and variations of that code for different titles, including Contra, the excellent 1988, just hard hardcore, you know, platform shooter, side-scrolling game, fantastic game, one of my favorite games of all time. And like I said, I hadn't heard of the Konami code uh, back then. Um, so when I got Contra, I still have my uh, boxed version of Contra. I absolutely love that artwork on that. Just a fantastic game. Some of my favorite box art of all time, in addition to being one of my favorite games of all time. When I had this game, so I got my NES in 1987 for Christmas, as I've told you guys before, and Contra came out the next year, and I picked it up right away because I had heard word of mouth that it was an absolutely excellent game, and so I, it, was, it was a game I had to have, and so I did get it. I absolutely loved it. Now, I'm kind of glad uh, with, Con with Contra, putting in the code will give you 30 lives right at the beginning. And I'm kind of glad I didn't have uh, the code back in the day because it sort of forced me to play the game again and again to get really good at it without any, you know, without cheating, so to speak, without any extra help. And I actually got to the point where I could beat Contra all the way through um, with, you know, without the code because I didn't even know about it. And I could beat the game just with the, with the you know, the few lives uh, the game gave you. I could, sadly, I can no longer do that. I've tried it. Perhaps the old reflexes uh, have slowed down a bit. I was 21 when Contra came out, and I'm well over double that now. So not so good. I'm, I still love and enjoy Contra, but I'm not great at it anymore like I used to be. I mean, I remember just, you know, jumping and flipping and running and shooting at all these angles and, you know, flipping and just dodging bullets. It was crazy. It was a great game. But the Konami Code really helped a lot of people enjoy that game more because they could see more levels. And... Um, Contra definitely popularized the Konami code, and it is an, an iconic code today, probably the most iconic video game code of all time. It's got to be. Now, I am currently working on a Nintendo book, and I reached out to Patrick Hickey to see if he, if he had any stories about Contra. Now, I did this a few months ago uh, while working on the book, and he wanted to tell a story about Contra. Uh, one of his stories is about Contra and the Konami Code. So I'm going to read that for uh, you guys in honor of creator of the Konami Code, Hashimoto. So Contra by Patrick Hickey, the author of the Minds Behind the Game series and a good friend of mine. Hickey writes... It was the summer of 1988. I wasn't even five years old yet, but I had amassed quite a reputation for myself in the apartments where I lived. I could already read, I always ate my vegetables, and I loved gaming. RBI baseball, Super Mario Brothers, you name it, I was awesome at it. Then one day, my neighbor, let's call him Mike, Mike, who 20 years later would end up in prison on a murder, ch on a murder charge. Hey, it was Brooklyn. Mike introduced me to a game that changed my life forever. 
It kind of looked like Mario a little bit, but it was in the jungle and you had guns. Wait, this was nothing like Mario. This was nuts. The guns change when I pick up when I pick these things up. This was amazing. But it was hard. I didn't want to play anymore. Wait, what? There's a fix? A secret code? The Konami code, which Mike introduced me to, changed everything for me and made me absolutely love Contra. No longer would I have to wait for Dad to get home and plot our course of action. No longer would I have to ask my friends how to beat a level. No longer would I get angry when I died. Why, I had 20 more lives. The Konami code allowed me to explore the levels of Contra, to take in its undeniable beauty and killer soundtrack and learn the ways of the alien force attacking. The code wasn't just a cheat to me, it was an introduction to gameplay design, mechanics, and the thought that, and the thought that what you saw wasn't what you got and that a video game is always more than the sum of its parts. Without Contra, it's fair to say I don't end up with the appreciation of games that I have. Yep, it's that heavy. And the code played a big part in that, as you can see as I continue the story. While it also in uh, incited a cheating scandal in, in gaming, in the gaming industry, while, excuse me, while it incited a cheating scandal in gaming, the industry had never seen before. Real men don't need the code to finish Contra, or so they say, and change the way we play in other regards. The code's inclusion on one of the best side-scrolling shooters was just another reason why the game is so special. It also fostered an extra strong bond between players and two-player action, allowing players to borrow lives the same way that a neighbor's mother would borrow bread no one ever returned. The stronger player could essentially guide the weaker player through the level. Great games are played in a variety of ways. Contra is an excellent single-player shooter and an even better two-player romp. Add in the storied Konami, Konami code, and you've got a game that is absolutely iconic. Patrick Hickey Jr., author of The, Mind, the Minds Behind the Games, founder and editor-in-chief editor of ReviewFix.com. All right, guys, thank you for listening to that story. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, R.I.P. Kazu, Kazuhisa Hajimoto, uh, just creator of an iconic. Now, did he discover the... Um, you know, penicillin? No, he didn't, but he left behind something iconic. How many of us can say that? I know I certainly can't. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. In the comments below, tell me about your experiences with the Konami code. Have you used it? What games have you used it for? Um, did you know about it back in the day? Anything at all about the Konami code, leave in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.